Okay, welcome back to our last session. In this session, we're going to be doing some fillet and chamfer. So we're going to be basically doing the uh, chamfer that's around the block over here. And then we're going to be doing the fillet that is inside the pocket. So if I go back to my drawing, uh, if you look at the drawing, you're going to see a 0 0.05 chamfer all the way around here. And you're going to see a 0 0.05 fillet inside the pocket. So uh, before we do that, if you're in the operations manager, if you click on solids, I just want to go over this real quick. You're going to see every operation from first to last that has uh, we've created in solids. Okay. And if you expand one of them, like for example, for the first one that we've done, you can edit anything that you want from here. If I expand the cut, if I go to uh, extrude and click on parameters, you can actually change that if you like to be two inches. So if I click on 2.0 and click on OK, my part will not regenerate until I click on regenerate all. So I'll click on regenerate and you can see our part extend and now it's two inches thick. To fix that, go back to parameters, click on it, change that to 1.0, click on OK. And then of course you have to regenerate so the part is fixed. Same thing over here, if you want to do the different um, kind of cut, we've cut over here uh, 0 0.25. If you just want to cut in 0.1, for example, click on OK and then regenerate all and it will only cut a 0.1 deep pocket. Let's go back over here and fix that to 0.5 and click on OK and then regenerate all. So now if you notice you always see that green around the part. This, this means that you're seeing the 2D which are our first level with our solid. So to fix that go back to levels. Now let's go back to our, G, uh, our first one which is our 2D geometry and click on the visible. If you click on the visible, it will you will not be able to see it anymore. Now you can only do that when you're in on another level. So only when you're on solids can you turn off 2D geometry, and only when you're on 2D geometry can you turn off solids. So I'll click on OK, and if you go to clear colors now, you'll only be able to see the solid part, and that's what we want. We only want to see the solid part of it. So let's come over here to fill it, fill it solids. Click on the down arrow. Now for the outside, we're going to be doing a solid one distance chamfer because it's going to be a 0 0.05 distance. So cl click on that and it's going to ask you to select entities to chamfer. So always follow what your um, dialog box appears to ask you up top. Whenever you're lost of where, what's going on and what you need to do, always look for this little box over here and it will guide you into doing the right thing. So I'm going to click on the four outer boundaries. Oops. I just selected everything on accident. I'm going to actually press escape and redo that again. So click on that, click on the outside of the box. There you go. One more. And there you go. So everything it gets selected in blue. I know it's very hard to see. Uh, we can always change our color so you can so you easily be able to see uh, things that are close to the background color. Once you have that done, click on end selection. And you're going to see your chamfer parameters appear. Now we want that to be 0 0.05, so click on OK. And you're going to see everything around change to 0 0.05 fillet. Uh, chamfer, I'm sorry. The inside of the pocket needs to be 0 0.05 fillet, so let's go ahead and do the same thing over here. But click on fillet solid. And for you to be able to select all the corners of the inside of that pocket, let's put that in the top view so you easily select everything. So there you go, just go ahead. There you go again. I just selected everything on accident again. So just press escape whenever you don't know what you're selecting. Because when you go over something, it will turn uh, white, you know. So for example, for here, I can just select this and it selects all my inside geometry. I don't want to do that. So let's go back to fill it solid and make sure only the inside are being selected. So only when it turns green, the right features turns green is what you want selected. Every, now that you have everything selected, click on and selection and you'll have the fillet parameters pop up. You want that also to be 0 0.05, it's a 0 0.05 fillet all the way around and click on OK. And there you go, you've just done a fillet inside here and a chamfer on the outside. Now to double check that, if you can click on the front view and I'm going to click on fit to screen so I can see it. Okay, now the front view will give you uh, the pocket right here that's a half inch deep and the five drilled holes. Now click on um, the, if you click on the right side, it's going to give you the same thing, but it's going to give you the right side view of it. So, but this is the view that I want you guys to see. So the five holes are in a row right now and they're located right here. 
This is the 0 0.05 radius or fillet. It's a half inch deep pocket and there's another uh, fillet because it's all the way around. And that's chamfer that's around the entire box. So there you go. If you double check that with your drawing, we've drawn that exactly the way um, the drawing asks us to do. So that's how you can double check and make sure everything is right. So this concludes everything for uh, this session and that's all you're gonna need to do. So go ahead and save your drawing. I'll put it back in 3D. If I wanna see it and shade it again, so there you go, you can see your entire part shaded. So that's how it's gonna look like. So there you go, you just learned how to draw your uh, first solid. It's only gonna get more uh, complex from now on. So we'll be going through the features a little bit quicker as we go along with our exercises. So we'll, we're just going over them slowly right now, just so on, you can understand how we make the parts and why we make them the way that we do. All right, and this concludes uh, this session.